Hooray that they're here. But who? Apparently, whoever scheduled it for a Saturday messed up. They don't do deliveries on Saturdays. Womp womp womp. So, lesson learned there. There's the box, our first box that we have opened. Da -da 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 -da. But it's the kitchen. I'm actually going to preview it for you. You ready? Ah! There it is. It's even better in person than it looked online. It's like a dark espresso. And we got the white cabinets that we did. And then we have our backsplash. Saves the counter. Beige. Isn't it all tying together nicely? We've got the little darker flecks that are tying it together with the floor. And then Where'd I put them? Somewhere we had drawer pulls. Oh. Eh, I moved it. See? Isn't that nice? It all ties together. It's gonna look amazing when it's all done. This is just a tiny little preview because all of this is gonna have it. All that carpet's gonna be going. It's gonna have it. That's gonna have it. That's that, 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 that. all of it. Look what's behind me. Ah, so much flooring. It was delivered. I feel bad. Look, yeah, look at that. Woo. I'm king of the floors. That the is going to. Is here. It's going to be all of our house. And we also have here, you can't really see it that well. Maybe you can with that white one. That's going to be the baseboard. See how much taller it is than what we have now. We measured and that's a little over five and, five a, half. and a half inches. And then what we have now, maybe we have like two inches. So it's gonna come up a lot higher and look great. And not today, but soon we need to distribute these boxes throughout the house before installation so that there's some in each room. Um, they're heavy. That's going to be a day. So maybe we can use the dolly, you think? I don't know. We might just have to hand carry them. That's what the wonderful people that helped move them in the house had to do. It felt so bad. We have stairs out the front door and in the garage. And either way, they weren't able to dolly them. So they had to hand carry all of these in. And they did it within under 30 minutes. So. Thank you. Tip your delivery drivers. Yes, tip. They work hard. Wow, that's a lot of carpet. <laughs> and it's technically not all of it because we already took one load that we forgot to film. And then there's a little bit more we have yet to tear up. So that's what a house full of carpet and padding looks like. So nine tortilla carpet later and we're ready to roll our burritos. Nine, this is a huge living space. We had pre just pulled a little bit for the LVP to sit. But still, nine left. And they're big burritos. All right, let's do this. Look, 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 look. We got it. We finished the living room except for this one. It's our honorary last piece of carpet. See? That's it. That's the last piece of carpet in this whole house to be ripped up. Who wants to do the honors? Oh, another one. You get the last carpet and I'll get the last padding. All right. Okay, that makes it fair. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, let's go, baby. That's it. No more carpet in the house. No more. And look, everything we took yesterday 
It's come back. It never ends. The dumpster just never, never ends. <sighs> we, I guess we're not gonna wrap it. It's too small, right? Just lay it. Yeah, we can just lay it. That's fine. Or we can sit on it for lunch. <laughs> Do you want me to leave it for lunch? That'd be fine. If you have your weapon of choice, shovel. <laughs> It is for the lovely tack strips that need to all come up all the way around every single place that we tore a carpet. So, one time. Would you like to demonstrate your weapon in use? <gasps> I believe in you. Saved your back a little. Hammer. Technically, it's a mallet. Crowbar. Not for tack, but for going around for the baseboards. So, all of this. This is my job all the way around the house to get that up. Gotta have it out. So can put it in the new. Bye bye, baseboard. Look at it. But it came off. Oh. Now it's gonna be easier because I've got the first part of the corner. But I'm still gonna have to use a crowbar. I've never used a crowbar before today. worth. It is the entire baseboards. I've ripped all those up and then there's some tacks in there too that we're now collecting and we made it this many hours but we finally have a tack injury. Where is it? Oh, he's such a little baby. Uh, they hurt though. They might be small but you don't want one. I mean look at this. Do you really want that going through your finger? I don't think so. Ollie. No. Not fun. So many nails around. Whew. We're lucky we've lasted this long. But oh, we're both exhausted though. I just took my knee pads off. They're saturated with sweat. My knees are all sweaty. I was on my hands and knees for the whole perimeter of the house with the crowbar and the mallet taking up the door. And then he's been going around the whole perimeter with the shovel and is now going back. That I'm done with the mallet and the crowbar and getting up some of the spots that were being extra difficult or that were too small to get the shuffle into. So, we, um, we're exhausted. Like, what is even is this? This, this is baseboards is what this is. <laughs> Impressive, right? Three hours, two people, doing it around the entire house. Um, yeah, we're tired. Like, really, really, really tired. I can't even fit the whole Especially pile. Especially done it before, making it up as we go along. Yes, impressive. <laughs> I can't even fit it all in the frame, hardly. <laughs> so much. And some of them are so long that I left them in the other room because I couldn't carry them without, we need to snap them. I did it on a couple and then I'm just, 
spent, so maybe tomorrow. Mm -hmm.